Hey guys, welcome back, it's Ionic here, or Skyblazers, and today we're doing another how-to video, and today is how to Cromwell. The Cromwell is one of my favorite tanks in the game, it's a tier 6 British medium, yes, medium, it's a medium, <laughs> tier 6 British medium that you go down from the medium one to the cruiser, to the cruiser 4, Covenanter, Crusader, and Cromwell. To me, it's the highlight of the line, I've gone all the way down, but to me, the Cromwell has got a special place in my heart, after all, it's the first tank that I've remarked. Um, today I'll be giving you a little bit of review on the stats of the tank, and then I'll give, show you two gameplays, because I can now do that, because I'm getting a little more advanced. Um, so let's get started into it. Let's get into the details of the Cromwell. Vehicle details. Okay, so, it has 750 hit points, that's normal. If you pull it up to something like, oh, I don't know. Let's go, let's compare it for goodness sakes with the Skoda, the Skoda T40. Very similar vehicle in my opinion. Alright, so it's got more hit points, 50 more. It's engine doesn't have engine power, but it weighs less, so it's got good engine power. Um, it has better top speed, it's faster, it's got less reverse speed, that's one of the weak points. Pull armor doesn't matter, you're medium. Tra matter. Trade's better, trade's worse than that, and has a better rate of fire. Now the Cromwell, it's basically, it's a good tank. Now, the Achilles heel of the Cromwell is that it's on the move. The Cromwell is amazing. It has great firepower. It fires every three seconds, about, and it can put out burst damage amazingly. It's great at that. But the Achilles heel of the Cromwell is that if you fire on the move, it's almost always going to miss. You're going to, you're going to see me in the replays. I'm going to show you is that it pulls off some miracle balance, bounces and. Um, and stuff like that, shit like that, where it can hit targets at 500 meters on the move, but that's a rarity. You, you can't expect it like you could at Object 140 or something else. For skills, I suggest that what you do is I haven't skilled correctly. What you should do is you should get six cents always, and then you go repairs on your all your other crew members for your first skill. For your second skill, you're gonna want to get on the move for both, so snapshot and smooth ride. And then you're going to want to get the this skill right here, which is Clutch Breaking. And then after that, it's BIA. Um, and then you can just get it to spec whenever you want. Um, as for cons as for equipment, I went for Ventilation, Medium Caliber Gun Rammer, and Enhanced Gun Lane Drive. Because this tank does not get root B stats, which is Vertical Stabilizers, which help the tank when it's turning the turret, keep that bloom of the aiming circle smaller. And that's a big deal. Um, the only <coughs> mediums that get that at tier 6 are the American ones. Um, but because of that, the Cromwell is really bad on the move, and that really accentuates its Achilles heel. So because it has aiming time, and you're going to want to aim that gun as fast as you can because you can't find the move, that's why I went for this. And obviously these two get the reload down. Um, it does get into tier 8 games, and the APCR penetration is pretty damn good, if you go on the gun here. And the rate of fire is good as well. The penetration is adequate for um, almost anything except for NOI. But at tier 7, the front of the heavy tanks are going to get a little bit too much use. So you're going to want to load some gold. Um, on the Cromwell B, I carry 20 rounds. On the Cromwell, I carry 30. It's up to you, really. I carry, out for you, I carry anywhere from 15 to 30. It's your choice. Um, and a good stock of HE, because HE is okay in this tank. Um, as for anything else, that's pretty much it. Let's show you is how I play my Cromwell and how I'm going to in and out, in and out, in and out. And to show you, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes in this, um, but it just shows you the flavor. And then I'm going to show you after this a game where I kick ass. <laughs> um, I'm one of the best Cromwell players not to, um, on the server for a reason, but um, let's get started. Alright, so in the beginning, I get, you know, it's an okay spawn. But I'm communicating with Scout here. Alright, let's go center, which is the, not this center, we're going this center right here. And I like to play the center, here I'm going to skip out of my view, <clears throat> and I'm going to, I like to play the center because it allows me to get bleed damage off on the enemy team. I can sit up here, and I can get vision all the way out into here and just pop shots in and out. I don't have to be on the move, and because of that it allows me to really get a good game out of it and get some bleed damage. And that's what you have to be in the Chrome, you have to be a weasel, in and out, in and out, in and out. Because if you can't fire in the move like most mediums, you have to be kind of just a really annoying thorn in the enemy's sides. 
And I hear I'm going to outplay these other Cromwells. That's how you do not Cromwell. He rushes. He knows I'm here. So I'm just going to take a shot out of him. I'm going to switch back back my camera. Can I get a second shot? No. So what I'm going to do here... See, look. I can sneak a shot into his turret. Get some bleed on him. And as my platoon mate gets another shot on him. I'm sitting here and I don't know what to do. I see trees falling. And I want to sneak a shot and kill him. So I back up. Don't have quite have the gun depression. I don't want to really trade my health. But I see a Skoda and a Churchill and a KV-1S. So I third person aim. And there is. If the gun's not fully aimed, it won't hit. There it was aimed, so it actually hit. So I found a sweet spot. Not the best to actually on the Cromwell, but it can really dump out the shot. Look at the rate of fire. That's a really good DPM. I see the KV-1S. Bad shot here. I didn't fully aim it, and the shot went low. And that was just a bad shot overall. See, one of the Cromwells is on the hill now, but I'm gonna I'm determined to kill the Skoda. Oh, I'll get one more shot into him before he's obliterated. <laughs> but... Oh. Already wants to get me. Back up here so I can get some shots. And I see this artillery, and I'm like, Oh, gotta get the scumbag. Scumbag, scumbag, scumbag. See if it gets a bleed on this short shell. See what I mean? Don't flay the gum. Yes, the gum. If you don't fully aim the gun, it won't hit for you. You have to fully aim this gun. See what I mean? Lucky bounces. And the enemy team has foolishly decided to push up around here. There's still Crumble on Hill, but he's on such low health that I'm not too worried about him. I'm still, at this point, I've got still got most of my health that I feel I can trade my way out of anything when it comes to this. So, he falls off Hill wisely, and I decide to hang around here because I want to get some shots on this Rudy. I don't care if I take a hit or two fine. I mean, we've got the game in the bag now, so I'll take a shot. He'll give me a shot. And he's he's out of here. I just want to get some damage out of that. Now I come in here, and I see this VK, and I'm like, what are you doing? So I track him in place, and kind of go back and forth. He can take a hit. I knew I would, but I really don't care. Because at that stage of the game, where you don't really care, to care about taking hits. And he's out of here. Now I load HE, or I prepare HE. I had to aim it, now I manual aim it and kill him with the HE. You know, a little bit overkill, didn't really need to either way. And now, just like that, we're off hill. But, this may not seem like much, but that's a pretty good game of the Cromwell. Think about it. We did eight, 1900 damage there. 1900! In that short amount of time, just about dueling other mediums. A lot of other medium tanks, it don't really see that. The Skoda and maybe the Rudy are the only other ones that I could think of. The Skodas. Because Skodas has an autoloader. But other than that, the other mediums really don't compare because this one has the mobility and it has the gun if you let it aim. Now all the tanks are dead here and I want to get a sneaky shot because I see, look, he's not... he can't be here. We would have spotted him, so he has to be here. So I'm just trying to see if I can get a sneaky shot and wait for the enemies to go through speed the replay up a little bit and there we go and that's the game can game in the Cromwell I'm gonna start it up all right in this game I'm gonna show you what a Cromwell can do in tier 8 and before any of you make a comment yes I'm blue <laughs> I'm blue because I'm um, at the end of matches I talk we like we our platoon mates and us we each team kill each other for fun at the end of games so don't worry once we've won um, but I'm gonna show you what a Cromwell can do in tier 8 yeah there's a trade-off for the Grommel, because there's more hit points, so yay, more damage. But it's harder to pen enemies. Um, it's not so much here, but the Tiger P, the VK slightly, and the AT7 and the Panther are going to be really tough to penetrate, as well as the OI. And so, here what we do is we're going to go to the standard medium spot here on the 9, 0, and 8 line. Edgy here is going to have a little fun ramming us. <laughs> so... I'm in my Cromwell, he's in his Cromwell B, which is just a slightly different version. It trades um, speed for turning and slightly, and slightly worse armor. But And uh, then Dunst's Panzer 4S. So we're going to split up. Me and Etchi are going to go down here. Just messing with Etchi there. And Dunst is going to go down the other flank. Empty 25 here, Sewer Scouts. I don't get much of a shot in, but I still get the kill in. And I get out of here quickly because I don't want to take any bleed damage. See if I can get a good shot on him out. 
kind of third person, kind of like speculative shots. I'm gonna switch, snap back to our camera here. Now I relocate here, see if I can get any damage off, and see if I can spot any targets before they spot us. I'm gonna poke on the hill. I want to see if I can hit the ELC, but that's not possible. Of course, I don't know that. <laughs> But I'm going back and forth here on the island, see if I can spot any targets. Just kind of back and forth. And there's an IS-6 and an st 2244 and a T-34 as well as a T-20. So we're guaranteed to pretty much win this area if we're aggressive. If we're not, we can get bled out and we can die. Um, it's actually not a bad split for the team and the LC spotting a center. Um, we're actually ahead. That'll go very south soon. I'll take a speculative shot. It looks like it hits. I don't know doesn't show up unless we actually hit on the... my mods don't show it, which is... it would be illegal if it told me that I hit him if um, he wasn't spotted, but, you know. Alright, so we're gonna bleed this VK, hit the tracks, luckily, and we're just gonna kill him. You can't see him, this is almost like a mercy killing. And now that's an line. The Grummel has 145 penetration with the standard rounds, so I can't pen him frontally unless I get a good penetration roll on his turret, but... For me to take him out effectively, and he can one-shot me with his AP rounds, I need gold, and that's what I'm going to do here, once he shows up again. Let's see if I can get the gun depression. And there we go. So I... There we go. HE and then gold. <laughs> so I fire gold, and I fire blind a couple times, because he's not going to move. Yeah, hit him. There we go. 135, good damage roll. Right into the gun there, so that bounced. And that bounced again, because right into the gun, because the OI. So, but he can't move, so I waste a gold shell into him. And I think I forget that I have gold shells, but... You know, we need to rush, because they're going to win the 1, 2, 3, 4 line down on the other side where Dunce is. And Dunce is calling for help. So I tell him, alright, give me a second. Let's kill. We're going to kill this VK. I'm going to rush back. I'm going to help you defend base. So get one shot off, and then he gets killed by the M12, which is a very dodgy shot. He could have killed maybe one or two of us there, team killed. Lucky that didn't happen. So now we're going to rush back to base, and um, as we're rushing back to base, Dunst is telling me, just get into the bushes with me, we'll take care of them, we can bleed them out, and hopefully we can win this, and we're communicating back and forth here. So the rest of our team, though, they're, they're thinking, ah, base is fine, we'll just push in. And that's a mistake, and they're going to die for it. I'm not going to spoil anything around. If the base is under threat, guys, you need to come back, unless you know you can cab out first. Um, that's really what's going to happen here. Um, look, we already lost T-34 to artillery. Because artillery is fair and balanced, friend. Very fair and balanced. So, a little bit of a side swipe there. So we get into these bushes, see if we can outspot the enemy. Alright, VK pops up. I don't know, some first for a few seconds. Now this is very important. Do you see how I can't see through the bushes? That means that every time I fire, I will not be spotted because I still get camel value when I, when, I'm, when I can't see through the bushes. When I can see through the bushes, after I fire, that camel value is negated. But if I cannot when I fire, then I'm, I, I keep my camel value. It's a little bit of a weird mechanic, but it's one that you can use when you're playing little tanks in the future. Me and Dunst successfully, successfully take them out. We see that the um, Comet Centurion and Tiger P actually went back to defend their own base, which is a good job by them. So we're communicating, we're trying to stick. I'm going to be a scout for him since I'm on full HP. And he is on full HP as well, but I'm going <laughs> to scout him faster. I'm going to pop up in this bush here, and we're going to spot a Tiger P. Now, here, go around if necessary, not for the side. Easy pens. But he turns his toll, and the second one, good shots. So he turns his toll into me. Not round should have. I don't know how I pin that round. So Dunst tracks him. Aim for his weak spot there on the turret sheet. See that? How it's green? I pen him anyway. So at this point, we're thinking okay, we need to regroup, kind of relocate, get to catch the enemy by surprise. And then a Centurion pops up. Centurion can... If he was smart, he could have killed both of us. But he just suicides. And watch this. This is how quickly you can rip tier 8s apart. 
one shot in. Two, check the tracks, hide the tank, he goes forward, repairs it. Three, and four, he's down. He thinks he's in shot, because he's suicide and he knows he did. He's not that bad of a player either, so... Now what are you going to do? If he gives us free damage... Oh well, don't interrupt your enemies when they're making a mistake, right? So, I certainly would never do that. <laughs> Alright, so, Tens gets hit, hit by artillery. I don't know how much it took off of him. Yeah, it took off half of his health, because artillery is very unbalanced. And the Centurion's complaining in chat that he couldn't get his mission done, so he suicided. Guys, if you can't get your mission done, keep playing the game. You get an experience in credits and get to the next tank faster, which is going to be easier to do your missions in higher tiers. Most of the time, it's easier to do your missions because there's more HP to play around with. So keep doing it. Keep always try it even when you can't get your missions. It's no. You're just going to let your team down. You're going to lower your win rate, which is not something you want to do if you care about stats at all. So this is very important. At the end of game situation, we're sticking together. Okay? Because if we weren't, then, well, we would die. Simply as simple as that. So even though we're separating here, Dunn still has cover of me. I He still has cover on the minimap. He can still shoot from here into here and give me cover support. So I'm going to go spot. And watch this cam value, by the way. Look how close I had to be to spot him. He misses. Get behind him and it's all over. Now there's the comet. Dunst doesn't want to go after him because, but nope. There it is again. Remember I told you that this gun can't aim when it's not fully, you know, can't hit when it's fully aimed. Because of that, I missed his his ass. He just showed me his ass perfectly. And because of it, I missed. Fire gold round in the AT seven. Hopefully, it penetrate. Probably not. So Dunst is telling me he doesn't want to go over because he doesn't have his repair kit anymore. And if he gets tracked by the comet, he's dead. So I still have mine. So I tell him, all right. Let's go for it. I'll go over first, and you follow me. Alright? Alright, so we go over first, and where's the comet? Where could he have gone? Like, you know, oh, there he is behind the building. Watch this. Track him. There's the only move again. Auto aimed at the center of the tank. That's what auto aim does. It aims at the center of mass, and it hits the tracks. So, AT-8 misses there. Or AT-7, excuse me. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw his fire, and so Dunst can get closer without taking any damage, and use that house. And as soon as I have a house between him and me, I close the distance. This is very important that you use this so you don't get shot. So I auto-aim here, get some shots, and this ATH is just seven, it's just done. Yes, seven. Can I get greedy here? I forget that there's artillery, and I'm asking Dunst, can you, yeah, can you, can you do it so I can get the kill? And then artillery is going to finish him off. No top gun for poor old me. And that's the game, guys. Because oh, this is where you kind of want to see it. Now, as you can see, we got a mastery badge of that in high caliber. Um, and as well, look how much damage we did in a tier 8. 3.2k. That's insane. I mean, look at the next guy. Next guy was done in tier 6. The tier 6s and the artillery carry this match. And the tier 8s. But there's that centurion really didn't do a thing. I fired a lot of gold, so I lost credits here, but in combos on a money making tank, it's normal. You fire a lot of gold and gold is a cost. Play up or this review up, shall we? This has been How to Cromwell. All in all, the Cromwell is one of the strongest, in my opinion, tier six medium tanks. It's fast, it's furious, it kicks it kicks ass, man. But it does have its Achilles heel, which is firing on the move, and it doesn't have armor. If you want to be effective in this thing, you basically are going to have to be a weasel. In and out, in and out, in and out. And really know how to position yourself on the map and keep your map awareness. This has been How To. And I'll see you guys next time. I am Ion, or Skyblazers Gaming. And tune in again, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, guys. I really hope to be able to do this again, because I really enjoyed making this. And I will see you guys in the next one.